What is up guys and gals, this is Brandon Cohen back, and I know everybody on the, the YouTube space is beating this topic up, um, but I just uh, saw this article and it kind of like, they sum all of the rumors up in one space, so uh, let's go through that right now and take a look at the upcoming, or rumored, GTX 1180. Um, now this article is on Tech Radar. I'll post the link for it down below if you want to read it yourself, but... Um, Let's skip over the little bit of a background. The release date. Tom's Hardware has reported that several unnamed sources confirm that the GTX 1180 Founders Edition will arrive in July, with third-party cards to follow in August and September. If these reports are indeed true, it will be about two years since the last generation of GPUs, and it's about time. There have also been some specific reports that NVIDIA will be shipping the GPU and memory to hardware partners on June 15th. This would further back up the August or September release date for third-party manufacturers, and is about a week after the end of Computex 2018, further hinting that we'll get a sneak peek of NVIDIA's latest at the anticipated trade show. Either way, the GTX 1180 seems likely to release soon, and we can't wait. Uh, the NVIDIA GTX 1180 price, this is where things might get a little tricky, and it's also where we've seen a little speculation. With the current segment of 10 series GPUs, NVIDIA changed the way they charge for its reference cards by renaming them Founders Edition, putting an advanced blower style cooler and vapor chamber cooling system, and charging $100 more for it. The approach worked really well for Team Green, so we expect it to do the same this time around. This would put the pricing of the 1180 around 699, about 520 euro or 920 Australian, but we could see them raising the price to 749 US dollar. Uh, for reference, the GTX 1080 Ti and 1080 came with the starting prices of 699 and 599 respectively. However, we'll sure find out exactly what Nvidia will be charging for its new GPU in the very near future either way. The, um, the specs, this is the exciting part of the article. In May they reported the specs of the 1180 were spotted in the Tech Power Up GPU database and it's looking juicy. The next generation of card, if spec speculation is to be believed, is more powerful than even the Titan XP, the most powerful consumer graphics card Nvidia has ever made. Running at 200 watts and manufactured with the new 12 nanometer process the 1180 will pack 3,584 CUDA cores, 224 texture mapping units, and 16 gigabytes of GDDR6. Oh my god! That's some DDR right there. Um, and a rated floating point of 32, with performance of a whopping 13 teraflops. Compared to 2016's 1080 with 200... 2,500 CUDA cores, 160 texture mapping units, 8 gigabytes of DDR5, and 8.7 teraflops. So it's like, um, it's not double the performance, but it's like almost 30 to 40 percent. So massive performance games, and it doesn't end with the reported specs of the 1180 either, as we've also rumored specs for the lower end 1170 pop up on WCCF Tech. The lower tier card will reportedly run. 2,688 CUDA cores, 168 texture mapping units, 8 to 16 gigs of DDR6, 9.7 teraflops. So it looks like the 1180 will be as, about as strong as like a 1080 Ti. The, I mean 1170 will be like a, a 1080 Ti. 1180 will be about 30% faster than a 1080 Ti. And um, if that holds true down the line, um, that means a 1160 will be like a 1070 and an 1150 will be like a 1060 I'm just I'm ready for all these cards to drop <clears throat> I know nobody else is talking about the uh, 1160s or 1150s but I'm excited for all these graphics cards um, especially with the uh, the rumored efficiency so um, Go ahead and comment down below. Let me know what y'all are looking out for. If y'all are going to be buying the 11 series cards. I know I definitely will be. Um, until they actually release. I still will be buying 10 series cards. Because all this speculation. I mean it was just 
January not too long ago and people were like, oh, don't buy graphics cards because they're coming out, you know, in February and then March and April, May. Well, it's, it's May. It's end of May now and we still don't have them. So now they're saying July. I don't know. I don't know. So thank you for watching. This is Brandon. I'll see y'all later. Adios.